It looks like China-made trains are already gaining popularity in some countries in the world. Watch how other countries in the world are now already using and patronizing China's advanced passenger trains. Hi, good day to everyone. Arthur is back with something amazing to show you. So don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our great contents. And without wasting any more of your time, here we go with my number one. Number one is Chinese made double-decker train for Sydney rolls offline. A double-decker train for Sydney with a design speed of 130 km per hour rolls off the production line in northeast China's Changshan. According to an order, China's top train maker CRRC will produce 17 double-decker trains for Sydney. CRRC and its Australian partner have delivered 732 passenger trains to Australia. Number 2 is Subway Cars made by CRRC Sifang America. Cars manufactured by CRRC Sifang America have started trial operation in Chicago. The eight car train travels between Chicago O'Hare International Airport Station and downtown Chicago. They are part of the first batch of 10 7000 series rail car CRRC Sifang America as manufactured for Chicago Transit Authority. The maximum speed of the rail cars is 70 miles per hour. CTA has been testing the 10 rail cars from CRRC Sifang America without passengers to evaluate their performance in a wide range of weather and operating conditions. Number 3 is Modern Chinese Trains Open for Business in Costa Rica. Eight new self-propelled trains brought in from China through the Chinese business CRRC Qingdao Sifang Company and specially designed for the Costa Rican Institute of Railroads came into operation. Number 4 is Exploring the World's Fastest Meter Gauge Train in Malaysia Exploring World's Fastest Meter Gauge Train in Malaysia, produced by China top train maker CRRC. Take a look! Number 5 is New Bullet Train Launched in Northwest China A new 
bullet train has been launched between Urumqi and Xi'an, both in northwest China, marking the inclusion of far-flung Xinjiang in the country's major high-speed railway network. The train travels 2,354 kilometers with a top speed of 250 kph. The journey between the two cities, with eight stops, is shortened to 13 hours to 22 minutes. The operation ended the history of no direct bullet train service between the two major cities. The new train service is expected to benefit tourism and boost economic and cultural exchanges along the route. Number 6 is Argentina puts Chinese-made trains into operation. Once the pride of the nation, Argentina's railway lines and equipment are aging and have fallen into a chronic state of disrepair. Many of them are nearly 40 years old. Finally, a solution is on the way, thanks to the purchase of 107 new locomotives and more than 3,000 carriages made in China. Number 7 is Chinese built trains on first public run through Cuba. Cuba has unveiled its first new passenger trains built by China. It's part of a plan to overhaul the island's rail system that dates back to the 1830s. The new trains will carry over 700 passengers each and travel across the island while making stops along the way in different cities. It was considered the cheapest form of long-distance transportation. A long trip ticket from Havana to Guantanamo starts at 200 Cuban pesos or $8. And that's all there is to it for today. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.